Frank Slide in Crow's Nest Pass, Alberta, Canada, the location of Canada's deadliest rock slide. At 4.10 in the morning of April 29, 1903, 110 million tons of limestone crashed from the summit of Turtle Mountain and buried part of the town of Frank. Of the 600 people living in Frank at the time, over 100 were in the path of the slide. Of those, more than 90 were killed. Most were never recovered, so there has never been an exact number. Witnesses in and around Frank said the slide lasted approximately 100 seconds. Scientists estimate that rocks were moving at speeds up to 120 kilometers per hour. An area of three square kilometers on the valley bottom was buried to an average depth of 14 meters or 46 feet, with some spots as deep as 45 meters or 150 feet. There were three young girls who survived the slide, plus 20 other people pulled alive from the rocks, along with over 500 people from the town site of Frank. The primary cause of the Frank slide was the mountain's unstable geological structure. Underground coal mining and water through cracks in the mountain were identified as secondary factors. Scientists believe that another significant rock slide will occur at some time in the future on Turtle Mountain. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're in Crow's Nest Pass, Alberta, Canada. And in front of us there is Turtle Mountain. So that is Frank's slide. As you can see, that looks like a landslide happened. That's right, that's what happened in 1903. So the face of that mountain, I forget how many millions of tons of limestone all let go came down and buried the outskirts of the town of Frank, the railroad, and the surface plant at the Frank Mine. I believe 90 people were killed, most of which have never been found. I think it's the worst, or one of the worst landslides in Canada. So yeah, that's where we are today. We're gonna look around. We're gonna go closer to like the rock pile at the bottom of the mountain. And there's an interpretive center here. And we'll check that out. We're on the Frank Slide trail loop. I think this takes us down into the rock pile too, where we can get a better look. Another view of Turtle Mountain. Yeah, we'll go down here. Hurricane of Rocks. Just talking about how Turtle Mountain's unstable geological structure. This is a nice easy walk. I think it's only 1.5 kilometers. And it's a loop. So anybody can do it, it's well maintained. Yeah, so it says 30 million cubic meters of limestone. 
Okay, it says here an estimated 70 people were killed. I thought I read somewhere that it said 90, but either way. Pretty unfortunate for those people. I think it happened at night too, so they were probably sleeping. Crazy to even think about. Yeah, there's a mountain over there. And the debris, the rock, came the whole way over here. So that had some speed and power coming down that mountain. That's all you see here is just rock. Look at that view. Rocks way over there. Almost as far as you can see. All from the side of that mountain. Yeah, it's still just crazy to think when you're standing here. destruction and how far all that rock came so there's the uh, interpretive center up there on the hill where we came from. So we'll continue on down here. <laughs> looking view. <laughs> to be here and be able to hear or see that mountain come down. I don't know. That would have been like the craziest thing I think ever. And yeah, anybody that was in the path of that had no chance even though I read there was a few survivors of some people that they found unhurt that were pretty close to where it happened or I'm not sure how they survived or were protected from that they must have just been in the right place walk down here pretty nice trail though walk. Pretty cool morning. Thought it was going to rain. But now the sun's coming out. There's my wife. 
wife coming. Yeah, she's with me today too. Nice view here. That's further on down the Crow's Nest Pass. So that pass goes from Alberta right over through into BC. See, I definitely recommend the stop here if you're in this area. There's actually quite a bit to see here in Crow's Nest Pass. I only drove through here one other time. Didn't really stop too many places. So this is really the first time I've explored this area. Lots of good history through here, interesting history. And you can't miss this. You can see this right from the highway when you drive through. You'll see the rock pile. Nice views around here. So we're soon back out to the interpretive center. So we'll show you that a little bit here next. And there's a little spot here where you can have one more view. Turtle Mountain and the surroundings. Yeah, so it's like a bit of a switch back here to get up this hill. Okay, everyone, we're inside the interpretive center now. I'll just show you guys around. I'm wearing a mask in here, so I'm probably not going to talk too much in here. You might not be able to hear me that well, but we'll just look around at the sights and sounds. So yeah, let's have a look around.
This part of the exhibit is on the Hillcrest Mine Disaster, which was the worst coal mining disaster in Canadian history. We will visit the Hillcrest Mine Disaster Cemetery and Memorial in an upcoming video. Thank you everyone for watching and for the continued support. I hope you enjoyed this video on this important part of Canada's history and look forward to showing you many more. Please click the thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.